Hitler thought this is a personal battle with Stalin, and so he began pouring resources into Stalingrad, because Stalingrad, a town of no particular strategic importance, had the name of Stalin. As Hitler's men converge on Stalingrad, they come face to face with Stalin's Red Army. Hitler is convinced if he can take Stalingrad, he'll be one step away from global domination. One time, I'm walking with the, the dog, and the dog kicks my legs out from under me. I wound up falling into the and rolling down the hill in this way that I couldn't. Sit. Please. The Russians have halted our advance. We have lost the 14th and 22nd Panzer Division. Allow me to explain. Enough! He could have ordered his 6th Army to make a tactical retreat from Stalingrad. But Hitler had this messianic view of himself. He would never allow retreat. You can't understand Adolf Hitler's actions in World War II without understanding the lessons he learned from World War I. And one of the most critical lessons he learned was you never give up. He was so traumatized by the German surrender in World War I that he was determined under no circumstances would he surrender in World War II. For Stalin, the city that bears his name is invaluable. To do so. And he'll I sacrifice anything to defend it. There are no desertions. Every soldier must fight. Fight to the death. Blind to all logic, Hitler sends more troops into almost certain death. One German soldier dies every seven seconds. The German army committed more troops than was safe to a final last-ditch offensive and a final effort to break the Red Army. The Battle of Stalingrad becomes a key turning point in the war. It was a military setback of uh, enormous proportions for Germany. On this, our 10th anniversary, we celebrate in the sunlight. On the 2nd of February 1943, Hitler prepares for the 10th anniversary of the founding of the Third Reich. Mein Führer, what is it? News from the 6th Army. They've been destroyed. Destroyed. How is this possible? They surrendered. Surrendered. A quarter of a million men. An entire army of the Reich. Surrendered! The sons of the fatherland, now traitors to their race. Their very names are cursed on this nation, on their mothers, on their children, on their brothers and sisters. The stain of their perfidy is darker than blood. I will hear no more of this.